Howdy out there folks, today we're going to take a quick look at this Warner Brothers Archive Collection Blu-ray release of Bad Day at Black Rock, a 1955 film uh, starring Spencer Tracy, Robert Ryan, uh, Ernest Borgnine, Lee Marvin, and of course uh, it's directed by, I believe, John Sturgis, and um, it's a film that of course is very, very, uh, I think, respected amongst the cinephile set. It is a movie that I think is arguably the director's best. Uh, he, of course, did The Great Escape, among others, uh, The Magnificent Seven, I believe, of course, the original. And this flick just fires on all cylinders. It's just one of the most lean and mean screenplays I've seen with some terrific dialogue. And, of course, the, the thing that really makes it sing is the acting by all of the leads, quite frankly, as well as the cinematography um, by, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, oh shoot, I don't have his name, he's not listed on the credits back here, but in any case, the cinematographer was the same gentleman who had lensed uh, the film Giant, among many others. Uh, sadly, I believe he died in the, in the 1960s um, when he was clearly still, um, you know, capable of, of cranking out uh, good work, uh, so it's a bit of a, uh, you know, bummer there, but I think in terms of the visual aesthetic of this film, there's no denying its impact. It was filmed, I believe, one of the first movies filmed in Cinescope, which uh, allows for the widescreen format, and it's put to use uh, expertly so by capturing all of the amazing Sierra Nevada mountains in the background, and uh, the town itself, uh, Black Rock, is this small little town right off of the rail uh, and it has a train station although it's noted in the film that um, at least the train that Spencer Tracy arrives on uh, hadn't stopped there in four years although I'm sure there were probably other rails that might have come through but it's basically a small small minor cattle rancher town um, that has obviously seen uh, better days and the, the story or premise, as it were, is Spencer Tracy plays this uh, apparent um, World War II veteran who's come uh, to basically give this thing that uh, he feels like uh, should be given to uh, the father of someone who he fought with uh, or um, had some kind of interaction during the World War II. And um, it touches on very controversial themes, especially for the day. Uh, such as, you know, obviously racism, xenophobia, and the internment of Japanese citizens here in the U.S. So in, in some ways it was very edgy uh, for its time. And like I said, the screenplay in particular just absolutely just is razor sharp. The dialogue is terrific. And Spencer Tracy, whom I haven't seen a lot of his films, but of course he is, you know, one of the titans of uh, American cinema, he is great in the part, just as is um, Lee Marvin and Ernest Borgnine, uh, among many others. It's just a really well-crafted film. In some ways, it kind of reminds me like uh, 12 Angry Men, in that the it's basically people just talking, sitting in rooms. There is some exterior um, action in the film, so it's not all set in a single room, but it, it just feels uh, like a Lumet film, um, just very, very sharp, very uh, interesting and unpredictable. Uh, I've, I found myself really being sort of swept up in the plot. And uh, again, I think that uh, the other interesting thing I'd like to point out is that this movie, uh, you can see how a film like this uh, would be a movie that would be um, sort of inspiration for people like Quentin Tarantino, who, uh, though in his new book, I don't believe he mentions this film, you can just see some of the um, the core ingredients at work here. Um, I, I again, I can't give this movie any higher marks. It's a it's an A film, deserving of all of its kudos and then some. And this Blu-ray release just looks and sounds terrific. It's also, I believe, scored by uh, Andre Previn, who was a famous, obviously, uh, orchestral composer and did some cinema scores as well. He's he's quite good in it um, with the with the music. And uh, another interesting little bit of trivia, uh, the lead character played by um, Spencer Tracy is named McCready. 
and I wonder if John Carpenter didn't use that name or wasn't inspired when he bestowed that handle to Kurt Russell on the thing. I suspect that's where that came from. But uh, in any case, I just hope everyone out there as well. I definitely encourage folks to look at this film. It is a movie that is absolutely worthy of a watch and I think is a prime example of some of the really good cinema that um, sadly has probably been forgotten uh, from the 50s. And I think it, it just it shows that you can go back there and find a movie like this and really be struck by how competent and well-made it was. So hi, my highest recommendation for Bad Day at Black Rock in this Warner Brothers Archive Blu-ray collection is probably the best format that it's available in. So on that note, I do hope everyone out there is well. Please stay safe, be kind, keep watching good cinema.